Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. This morning there was an international press conference in front of the Great Pyramid of Egypt and a major new discovery has now been announced. The news comes from the Scan Pyramids project, which many of you will already know about, a team of scientists that use cosmic muon technology to locate voids and spaces in the pyramid, who discovered a large void above the Grand Gallery in 2017 and a smaller void behind the entrance chevrons in 2016. Scientists from France, Germany, Canada and Japan have been working on this project for the past seven years, as well as experts from Egyptian universities and the Supreme Council of Antiquities. And the new discovery is regarding the entrance corridor, and not only has it been confirmed by five different scientific methods, an endoscope has also been inserted just six days ago, and yes we do have video and pictures. This is the internal structure of the pyramid we're so familiar with, but many people have long speculated there are many parts missing, and now we know there are. The team of scientists use five non-invasive and non-destructive techniques to scan the pyramid and to detect unknown voids. These include infrared thermography, muon detection, ultrasound and ground penetrating radar. Each technique complements each other and the corridor was found behind the chevrons on the north face of the Great Pyramid, long speculated by the great Jean-Pierre Houdin. This builds on the original discovery in 2016 when muon scans revealed a possible small void behind the chevrons, but this as well as muon technology as a technique has long been debated, and by many it has been dismissed but now we know there is a void and the muon detection technology does work. Between 2018 and 2019, more muon detectors were placed in the descending passageway and also the crude entranceway that's known as Alma Moon's Tunnel, the one that's used by the public to enter the pyramid. Well, the latest scans reconfirm that it is a corridor. It's roughly square in shape, I believe around 2 meters wide, with a chevron roof that's 2.3 meters high at its tallest, although I do need to confirm the measurements. It is 9 meters long and it looks to be almost horizontal, going directly into the pyramid, directly behind the lower two chevron blocks known as 3 and 4. But the muon scanning technology was not enough. And so, between 2020 and 2022, ground penetrating radar and ultrasound measurements were taken, and they too confirmed the corridor behind the chevrons. This is why scaffolding has been seen at the Great Pyramid entrance for the past two years, and noted by many people on social media. The results and associated diagrams are being published today in Nature Communications, in a paper titled localization and shape determination of a hidden corridor in the Great Pyramid of Giza, using non-destructive testing. So, what did the scientists do next? Well, the next job was to insert an endoscope into the void, something I called for a few years ago on the Ancient Architects channel. It's an easy way to see inside, with no or minimal damage. Amazingly, it's taken place without even having to drill a hole, because there is an open joint between stones and you can even get your hand inside. Only one week ago a state-of-the-art endoscopic camera was flown in from Japan, and Zahi Hawass also arrived to be there to witness it. They entered the camera on February the 24th, 2023, and this is what they found. This really is incredible. The chevron blocks continue into the pyramid forming a roof, and the corridor looks somewhat clean and in good condition. Although it does look unfinished, or was never meant to be finished, because the stones on the left and the right look rough. Before we get too excited though, it looks like there is a dead end, so the corridor could be structural, and may only be there to relieve weight to ensure the descending passageway survived the construction process, very similar to the relieving chambers above the King's Chamber, or it could be there to protect another undiscovered corridor below. 
Of course, the discovery has only just been made and I'm sure that a lot more analysis will be done. But what it proves though, is that the muon scanning technology does work. And now it's all eyes on the big void above the Grand Gallery. The Great Pyramid secrets are finally being revealed. So now as I read and digest the new paper, to end this video, here is the new presentation by the Scan Pyramids project. Thank you for watching, there will be a lot more to come, so please do subscribe to the Ancient Architects channel.
Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.